quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is. Uh. Alright, everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to look at Willie Davis, number 86 of the top 100 NFL's greatest players. This is a series that was brought out in 2010. I'm going to do a little bit of research if I can, but first of all, I just want to see, just want to see what they say, if he's old or, or new. Willie was one of those guys that you thought intelligence first. He exuded it all the time. Oh, I like that. So he's an intelligent player. Davis wore number 87 during his career with the Packers. For 10 seasons, he anchored the Packers' defensive line, playing 138 consecutive regular season games. Holy fuck. Davis was a member of all five of Lombardi's NFL title-winning teams and played in Super Bowls 1 and 2. He's still alive. He was born July 24th, 1934. Five times NFL champion, but only two Super Bowls. Wow. All right. Well, let's get into it. Yeah, I'm sure defense, I mean, at my heart. You hear about it from other ball players. Plus, they were very much aware of uh, Willis' smarts. And I think everybody we got enough people here to meet the challenge. <laughs> He had earned an MBA from the University of Chicago at about the same time he collected his fifth world championship ring. So he was studying at the same time. not seem destined for greatness when his career began in 1958. Willie played offensive tackle, defensive man at Cleveland with me. Very soon came off the football field. <laughs> The greatest thing happened to him was that Paul Brown got disenchanted and sent him to Green Bay to Lombardi. His first game against Brown, we had never blocked him. He almost killed us. <laughs> Basically, my whole career has been proving a point that I can play football with guys who came from bigger colleges, that I could play football against the best football players from anywhere that I can carve my niche. The thing that I was impressed with was his ability to turn that tackle loose and run down a running back on the far end. He hadn't seen a lot of that from ball players. He could move from his set position so quickly that he never got the full blow of yeah. the offensive game. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't finding a... a, a a left, a defensive end, sorry, not a defensive end, a, um, yeah, defensive end that can do that these days, eh? Because they're just going to be blocking their, their one guy. They're not going to fucking run the whole length of the field, the whole width of the field after a running back. So he very seldom got pancaked, and all of that was a part of making him great because he could slip and slide away from some of the big linemen who were coming at him. He could move so quick. They could get in position to make those tackles, and he could run down people. Willie had that great smile. <laughs> He'd give you that smile when things were going good. And when he knew he was whipping us real good, the smile got wider. <laughs> those joyous moments included Davis's forced million dollar fumble on John Unitas in 1966, which sent Green Bay to the NFL title game. A dominating defensive performance in Super Bowl II, five All-Pro selections, and membership on the 1960s All-Decade team. What a legend. There you go. Willie Davis for the Green Bay Packers. It was actually cool to actually hear him talk because 
all these videos, they're voiced over by someone else, someone that knew them in their career or whatever. You do hear their voice, but you never see them talk. So it was good actually to, to see him talk like that. It was quite cool. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I've got a lot of work to do. We've got 85 more players. I'm going to take a break now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.